resolution should you be shooting your videos in? There are so many different resolutions out there, whether it is 1080, 4K, 6K, 8K, 12K, who knows how many other Ks there are out there and that there will be in the future. For a while now, 4K has been the chosen resolution for filmmakers, videographers, YouTube creators to film all of their footage in. And since people started to take the leap to film in 4K, it was a huge step up from filming in 1080 or HD as it is otherwise known as. And since then, all these mirrorless cameras that come out now are shooting in so many different Ks. It's such a nice evening. Spring is definitely on the way. I thought I'd come out and film a little bit of footage outside instead of just sitting in my office and change it up a little bit. I want to talk about the Lumix S5 II as well because that is the camera I'm filming on right now and I am actually filming in 6K. So I want to take a look at if you can actually tell the difference between filming in 4K and 6K, if we need it, if it's useful and what is the actual point in filming in 6K? Now this whole video has actually been shot entirely in 6K, just as an experiment for myself really, but I do actually have a few thoughts about shooting in 6K because I do genuinely think that it might be quite a useful feature to have available in certain situations. For example, you might be shooting an interview scene which is set up not too dissimilar from what we have here now with me talking to a camera. When it comes to editing that interview, you might want to be able to crop in or punch in to be able to just change up the video a little bit and make it look a little bit more interesting by making it look like you have another camera angle. And what shooting in 6K allows you to do is to have even more room to punch even further into that image than you will be able to with 4K and 1080 without losing as much detail. When you look at a 4K image and a 6K image next to each other, the chances are you're not gonna be able to tell a huge amount of difference between the two unless you really, really genuinely start to pixel peep. And when you do that, then you may be able to see that the 6K image should be a bit sharper than the 4K image. It is going to be harder to tell the difference between two images when you are watching them side by side on something like YouTube because YouTube compresses the video when it is uploaded. So to tell the difference properly, you're going to have to look at the actual original files side by side. There is the argument that says, why are you shooting in 6K for a YouTube video, especially when YouTube compresses the video so much and also you can only view videos on YouTube up to 4K. But even then, not everyone is watching those videos in 4K because maybe they only have a HD TV. So that argument does make complete sense, but I think being able to shoot in 6K and make a more interesting video because you'll be able to change up the angles a little bit more, especially just from one camera angle because you're losing less detail, you are still gonna notice that if you are watching it on a HD TV because you're still going to lose less detail than you would be if you were shooting in 1080 or 4K. What's also great about filming in 6K on the S5 II is you can film in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Now what that means is you are using the full size of the sensor. Most video is filmed in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so effectively you are cropping off the top and the bottom part of the sensor. By shooting in 3 by 2 what it allows you to do is to be able to easily repurpose all of your videos. So for example, say you want to film a landscape video, your main YouTube video, but you want to be able to repurpose parts of that to turn it into an Instagram reel or a YouTube short, you can then easily crop off the sides and because you're filming in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, it is going to look much wider than if you were doing the same with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And in a world of YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and TikToks, that is incredibly useful if you're into making short form video. 6K video files are obviously going to be much bigger to work with than 4K video files purely because there is much more information in that 6K file than a 4K video file. So what that does mean is it might potentially be tougher to work with on your computer and potentially slow down your workflow if you are using a lot of 6K footage in your videos. However, even though 6K is available to us and it does give us some advantages sometimes over shooting 4K, 
I don't think that means that we need to be using 6K all of the time. I don't think we're anywhere near the point of people stopping shooting in 4K to shoot primarily in 6K or higher. If you know you want to be able to repurpose your videos into landscape and portrait, or you know you need to be punching in to change the angles a little bit, having that extra resolution is very useful in that case. Or maybe you're shooting a really high-end project and you just want to be able to present the best possible footage for that project and then having a nice high crisp resolution might be even useful for you then. But I think for me personally I'm going to stick with 4k but to have that extra resolution as an option when you need it is very very useful. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about shooting in 6K. Are you going to shoot more in 6K or are you just going to stick to 4K or maybe even 1080 because 1080 still does look great and I use 1080 a hell of a lot still and no one ever really knows the difference. No one bats an eyelid and no one goes you've shot that clip in 1080 why are you shooting in 1080? Chances are no one will know what resolution you are shooting in. Um, yeah let me know what your thoughts are what you're shooting in and um i'll see you in the next video i'm such a big kid